Well, hello, welcome back. So, I'm excited you're here today. Today, I'm going to talk about I this year we are doing one, two, three, four, five, six science curriculums. Take a look at how I teach. <laughs> just so that you see how we go through them. So I don't always do the activity books, all right? And I'm gonna tell you which one out of these five or six that I think is the best science curriculum of this year. So look at that stack. And they're they're pretty much all good. There's one I don't really care for. I'm also doing another one, actually, as we speak. I'm reading through it. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not, but just so I can give you a review of it. Um, but one that I don't think is that good is, I mean, it's all right. It's it's made for more of a classroom. It's the Daily Science 2 Guide. I've kind of showed it to you before, and it's more, it's more like we read it, I don't know, just for something to do. So for example, it's got like day four, day two, day one, two, day through day four, you do of the week, and you're talking about the same topic, and it's, Evan Moore's big on like one page a day. Some of their stuff I like, some of them I can't stand. <laughs> so up and down like that. <laughs> So let's, so week one, we're talking about kangaroos, okay? So we talk about kangaroos and it's like, okay, read this and then through the week, just answer those pages. Well, we'll just go through while we're sitting there and go through some of the pages about kangaroos. Okay, so this is grade two, grade two daily science. So six big idea units with four standards-based weekly lessons, 24 activity pages and teacher lesson plans, content vocabulary, comprehension and visual literacy practice and six hands-on activities. Eh. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it is what it is. I don't even think we'll finish it. I'm not concerned if we do, if we don't. Because again, it says for the week, and then we can usually do it in a day, maybe two days. Because I sit at breakfast or lunch, and that's when we pick a subject. This is secondary one I'm going through. Uh, this is the only, this is the second secular one. No, I have three seculars, three Christian that I'm going through. This is the Focus On series. This is by Real Science for Kids. And I love some of their stuff. Like I have their books that I've showed you before. They're over there on the shelf. Oh, their books are great. I'll show you a little short of them right now so you can just take a look at them. But they're great, so they're based on this. So this is the history of, it, it also includes the history of astronomy. So this is astronomy. They have one for each subject. You can go K to four, or you can go four to eight, I believe is what you can do. So, but it also deals with the history of it as well. So not that exciting, the history of it. And I found instead of that book, just reading any curriculum really, but like any one of these, books here like this is the newest my dad just sent me the space encyclopedia by national geographic i mean it's got some spectacular pictures but my dad also sent me another one that i've showed you in videos before which has maps of the planets it's got maps on the planets so look at these i mean the pictures are stunning right because it's space and it's national geographic and if anyone could get amazing pictures of anything i feel like it's national geographic however i do have other science curriculums that i'm going to do next year so i'm not sticking particularly all right, sorry for the interruption. So back to the last four that I studied this year, and then I'm gonna show you what I think my favorite is. So the kids will probably tell you that this is their favorite because it's just, it's a bunch of different worksheets and a couple different books and some experiments that I didn't do because I didn't think it was worth the time and the effort or that exciting, like record the weather for a long time. 
So seasons change the environment. This is moving beyond the page. So there's questions like which month's the warmest in Florida, which month um, is, the is the warmest in North Dakota, stuff like that. And then it has, so it's kind of cool. Let me show you another one that we're gonna do. It's just to give you, I, I did a whole video on the curriculum, this curriculum, so I can show it to you, but this is the before and after diorama. Again, we're not gonna do the diorama, but they like the worksheets. And so this is the before, right? And then this is the after. So we're just doing environments. This is studying environments. So this is the after, like what does it look like with the community, with houses and stuff? So th this curriculum is pretty exciting, dynamic, if you will, if you like worksheets. It's a lot of worksheets, but uh, my kids really enjoyed it. God made me, this is generation. So this is level three. This one I would say is good for older kids. So grade three, and up. So I'm going to save this. I don't know that I'm going to go through it, but it is, I mean, it's really good. It's really in depth, covers just so many topics and so many things. But I find that after we read them, so for example, what's in blood, right? So I'll make a little spreadsheet, not a spreadsheet, but a little tiny, I don't know, notes, if you will, cheat sheets of platelets, white blood cells, red blood cells, and plasma make up blood. And then just so that we can review it once a week so that we remember. I didn't do, I have the activity book. Again, I don't do activity books. That's just not something we do. We just, I teach them while we eat. Um, so that that's qu actually quite a lot of hours can be in teaching and stuff. I mean, outside of that too. So this I would say is like a, a fabulous curriculum. I'm just going to wait um, until maybe grade four, like a year or two years, maybe. I'm not sure. This is the Big Book of Science Stories. So it does come with a manual. This is Little Hearts and Hands. This is the good and the beautiful. Oh, in case I didn't tell you that was generations. This is the good and the beautiful. This is Wind and Waves. I have a son who loved water. I mean, who doesn't like water? So we did Wind and Waves. This I thought was very good. Very good because, so it has facts about bodies of water. This is kind of can be used for older children. And then it's got the story for younger children. So the good and the beautiful, they can be done very family style. So I just think, and it does come with the teacher's manual, but the teacher's manual is more geared to really little children. So I didn't, I just didn't utilize it. <laughs> it's kind of high roll, but I did look through it and uh, I was just like, nah. But anyway, so one of the stories, the only, so here's facts about meteorologists and then it's about a mom who's a meteorologist. So it has a lot of, yeah, stories. It's a big book of science stories. And I think that that's, yeah, I thought it was great. I mean, not a problem with it at all. And this is the winner. The winner though, for me was enjoying God's world. Let me show you into, First of all, I think this is great for ADHD kids. I mean, really, any because it's made for a classroom, a Christian style classroom, so you can just read through it and there's not a ton of experiments. And then at the end, it sums up, at the end, let me show you, at the end of each unit, there's questions and you can go through the questions with your kids. So name one kind of land form, name a kind of natural resource. Natural resources, anything God makes is what it says in here. And it also talks about, Stewardship, taking care of natural resources because of stewardship. And the way I explained a stewardship is the way I learned it, which may, maybe this will be helpful for you, which is if you have an old beat up car, I take care of that car so that God will grant me a new one. If you have old toys, but you want new toys, take care of the old toys. Just give them the respect, keep them clean, do your best to like put them away and stuff like that. And that's how I've always treated my kitchens is if I was in a kitchen I didn't like, I would try and keep it nice and treat it as though I did like it, just so I could be granted more, is kind of the thing. That's why I look a stewardship like. But anyway, I hope that, so this to me was just the best, because it just, I mean, I just, it, it informs you a lot, teaches you a lot, has a great, this particular one is grade two, but it can be done in grade one, it can be done, I mean, anytime. You don't have to have done the first one to do this one. Also their history book that I have, their history and geography, I think is fantastic too, because it's very easy. Okay, here we go. Here's something a little easier. So all the experiments are easy and they have stuff that you have on hand. So you, a bowl with water and plastic wrap or cling wrap or that you can get easily and then watch the condensation happen. So check it, you know, put it in the sun and every few hours check it. So this is watch evaporation condensation. So I mean, it's just, it's an easy curriculum, but it's thorough. It definitely covers, it definitely teaches you stuff. So this to me is the winner this year. I quite love it. I can't wait to get number three. Do number three. I don't know that I'll finish number three off this year, but I mean, maybe, maybe. I'm excited. I'm excited to start it. Yes, I am. Okay, that's all for today. Take care. Can you say please like and subscribe? Please like and subscribe. 
And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell, you know what that's <laughs> <laughs>